All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are gonna talk about how to spot the difference between a junior, a mid, and a senior developer. Okay, so getting started with a junior developer, this is usually someone who has very few experience, usually under one year. So this kind of person needs a lot of guidance and help from mid and senior developers. A common problem with junior developers is that when a senior developer gives them some tasks, they have no idea how to do it or they have no idea how to start it or even how to search for a solution on Google. And once they actually start working on that particular task, they, they often get stuck on some simple problems for a very long time. I've seen it all. People who forgot to save their file, people who just forgot a comma, or just like some simple error in their code, they spend one hour, two hours, maybe even a full morning or a full day without asking for help to their senior developers. So this is what they should do. Whenever they get stuck on something, if they feel like they are one hour or two hours stuck on something, they should just try to ask for more help. Also, a lot of times when they fix some problems or when they finish some tasks, is with some code that they found on Stack Overflow or some other places on the internet. They just copy the code, put it on the project, and they have no idea what the code is doing. Of course, I could not forget to mention that usually junior developers, they have no idea of how to use advanced tools like Git, like Webpack, like Jenkins, for example. They have no idea how to use them, when to use them, or what do they do. Of course, something that screams a lot that you are a junior developer is when any new library any new framework that comes out gets super popular. These kind of junior developers, they just want to jump on it because it's super popular, everyone is using it, but they don't understand why it should be used or not. Another thing that I should mention is that they don't have any idea of how to give an estimate of how long a project is going to take or a task is going to take. When a senior developer, a mid developer, managers or anyone from the company comes to you and they might ask you how long this is going to take, most likely you have no idea. This is because you don't have enough experience, you didn't build enough projects, you didn't finish enough tasks, so you can't give an accurate response for this kind of question. And finally, they are looking for everywhere which one is the best programming language ever. They go for YouTube, forums, looking for which one is the best programming language for 2020, for 2021. I see this everywhere. They don't understand that they can use different languages for different projects because each language they have their own pros and cons. But the problem with junior developers is that when they pick one language, it's their favorite, could be Python, could be JavaScript, they just think that they can use this language for everything. And they don't evaluate what's the best tool for the job that they want to do. All right, so going on to the mid developers, this is usually people who have already a few years of experience. And when they're senior developers, they give them some tasks, they do the majority of them without asking any question. Now, regarding these questions in here, now, a mid developer compared to a junior developer, they often ask questions a bit earlier than before because they don't spend so much time. Like I said, junior developers, sometimes they spend like a full day or a, a full morning just stuck into one problem. Mid developers, on the other hand, they understand that they can progress faster on their code, on their project, if they ask the right questions to their senior developers. Although mid developers, they have a bit more experience than junior developers, they still have some problems, especially when it comes to, to fixing bugs, because most of the times they just use some unconventional hacks 
that affects, for example, the performance of the project. And this next thing that I'm gonna tell you is really gonna tell if you are a mid developer or not. The majority of them, they try to reinvent the wheel. They try to write complex code to solve some simple problems. And I see this all the time. People, they try to come up with this kind of complex code just to show to other people, look, this is what I can do. Look how good I am. They are not looking into the final solution, into the final problem that they are trying to solve. And they just want to show other people that they can write complex code. So this is really a no-no for me developers. And of course, later on in life, they really realize that writing simple code that other people can read easily and is just much more optimized is better for everyone. Now, of course, as I was saying, me developers, they are already a bit better. They already are familiar with tools like Git, Webpack, Jenkins, and so on. They already can test their code before they're sending it into the Q&A. They might even help some junior developers. And when a deadline is just coming in, they are not so stressed. They are just going to say, okay, this is going to be tight, but we can do it. All right, and finally, let's go on to the senior developers. How can we spot a senior developer? So this is usually people who have already more than five years of experience. Usually, of course, there can be some people with less that they already know a lot, but it's usually five years plus there is already considered a senior developer and there is some good traits about it. So a senior developer knows how to choose a particular language for a particular problem. They are not wondering, oh, I'm going to use maybe JavaScript for everything or I'm going to use C Sharp for everything. No, they, based on their previous experience with other projects that they have done, when they see a new challenge, they know what's the right tool for that particular problem. They help a lot of the junior developers. So when the junior developer is stuck on something, they can give them some guidance of where to find the solutions or how they can optimize their code. Because the thing is, the more senior you get, the simpler code you write, because it doesn't matter if you write like tons of lines of code, you want to write optimized code. The shorter code that you write and the more readable, the best it is. So this is one of the good traits of uh, senior developers. They write short, precise and readable code that anyone can join in on what they are working on at the moment or if they are going on holidays or whatever, anyone can quickly jump in in their code and fix or add something new. Now, when they are trying to find a solution for a problem, before they write down any solution, they look for all the possibilities for this code to fail. This is one of the big differences from senior developers to other mid or junior developers because these other developers, when they, they have less experience, all they think about is, okay, how can I solve this problem? They don't think about that maybe there are some solutions that they are not the best, and maybe they could have some bugs in the future. So really senior developers, they look on all the outcomes possible for this code to fail. And then when they see all the possible outcomes to fail, they come up with a solution that they think is the best. Some things that they care a lot is to make sure that there is a good code quality, the performance of the project is going well and that there are no tests failing, everything is passing and to make sure that there are no merging conflicts. One final thing to mention is that they are really open to kind of tips, advices from other people which will make them better, make the project better, the code quality better overall. So they really want to learn more things and become better, of course. And finally, they are not stuck with any particular language or framework. If they feel like they need to change something in order to achieve the best results, they will do it in a blink of an eye. All right, and that was my main key differences between a junior, a mid, and a senior developer. 
But let me know in the comments down below what do you think are the, the main differences between them or do you think that I forgot something or do you have other opinions? Let me know all of it in the comments down below. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.